In today's video, we are going to see a very popular kit. Uh, it's on the cheap side for a turbo kit for the SN95s and um, new edges. Um, a lot of people say cheap eBay intercoolers say there's a huge pressure drop from the inlet to the outlet. And uh, we're going to put that to the test. I am getting a little higher temps than normal. I'm getting 150 degree temps on 13 pounds of boost. But that may also have to do with my bumper setup completely blocking the intercooler. So we're gonna we're gonna do some pulls with the bumper on, with the bumper off, with eBay intercooler, and see what temps we get. And then we're gonna switch it out to another well-known brand for intercoolers is a Treadstone. That's gonna be a thicker intercooler. The uh, Treadstone is gonna be uh, four and a half inches thick. But same width and height that eBay inner. So how are we gonna do this? I took this turbo off the other day, and I tapped uh, I tapped a little push lock fitting right into the outlet, and that's gonna be pretty much what the turbo is putting out before it goes through the intercooler. And then you know we already got we already know how much boost the engine's getting, so that will be the outlet. So. We'll, we'll see if there's any difference at all on a pressure drop. I got these gauges rigged up. Um, the top one is AEM True Boost. It's just a boost controller. And that is on the outlet side, pretty much my intake. So this is after the intercooler. Now, my other, my wideband gauge that does boost also, this one is coming right out the turbo. So before the intercooler. And we'll compare... Um, I'll compare the boost between the two. You'll see in a second. Alright, max airflow. <laughs> Bumper is off. Intercooler is fully exposed. All 22 inches of it and 12 tall and 3 wide. Straight bottom of third to top of third pull once again. Uh, ambient air lowest we can get was 90 92 uh, okay we'll say 90 and this is the same day I mean it wasn't even it wasn't even trying to cool down engine bay temps or anything and the highest we saw is 140 on third gear pull 13 pounds of boost this is with the treadstone intercooler with the bumper off same exact pull uh, bottom of third to top of third and this is what we're getting a dramatic humongous decrease look at this I read it to you uh, ambient was about 78 to 80 and we saw 88 degree intake temps during that pull alright now I know what y'all are gonna say uh, third gear pull is not gonna it's not gonna create enough heat, it's not gonna do anything. Well, here is a first through fourth gear pull. And this is with the uh, treadstone with my front bumper on, so it's kind of restricting airflow getting to the inner coming across the intercooler uh, uh ambient air was 80s and during the whole pool we got up to 114 now that's 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 a big big change so uh yeah all right treadstone you can look at the fins and the bars. You can look at the ends. <sighs> Treadstone in a cooler on the scale is twenty seven almost 28 pounds all right this is thicker just four and a half so inch and a half 
uh, thicker, and that's it. And different intakes, I, I can tell. Uh, in tanks, I didn't say intake. So, yeah, we'll compare the uh, two in a second. eBay intercooler. Pretty much see straight through this thing. I mean, you can see my dang wall back there. Ends, tanks. And there it is, guys. Little comparison. Let's see how much this uh, eBay weighs. Look at that. 13. So overall, what I'm getting at is uh, choose your intercoolers wisely. Look at the build of them. Look at the fins. I mean, look at the density. And uh, just go over things. I made this video just for a, a comparison. I'm not sponsored by Treadstone. I just want to give real results and, um, you know, for the people that's doing a budget bill, put your money uh, wherever you feel like you need to. Um, I hope y'all got some good information from this. Um, I learned a lot. And thanks for watching.